My name's AJ, the lead singer of the Caesars. Hi, I'm Danny, I play lead guitar for the Caesars. My name's Steve, I play double bass. Hi Mike, drummer of the Caesars. four-piece bands. We kind of play like late 50s, early 60s. We don't like to describe ourselves as a rockabilly band as such. We prefer to call ourselves a hepcat band. How are you feeling? Nervous! <laughs> Ridiculously nervous. One of the youngest bands and certainly these guys have got a long, long way. Put your hands together and welcome the Caesars! The style we put ourselves at is a bit of 60s garage mixed with rockabilly. Some of our songs sort of verge on garage style. When a wheel in a place and darling, get a wild as a hurricane. When we kiss, we're for the spot. Ice water's running through my veins. I call it loving up a star. Influences from from your sort of original 50s. Big hunk of love, I got stung style RCA Elvis. Uh, all the way to your modern day bands like the Hives. Ah! One of my idols, Link Ray, the the, the full on guitar style. Because of Dan, we've got a lot of the Sonics in there. And then the aggression and the raw power of bands like the Sonics and the Wailers. I'm in love with Apple I'm broken hearted on me. Just really in your face, high powered stuff. I had a rebel in my soul, fire in my feet. Oh, just tell me, baby, I'm a better rock and beat. Let's dance, let's dance, let's dance, a little dance. We all like different things, but we all managed to bring them together to get this, the sound that we, the sound that we get. Love your woman, tell her what I do. Ain't enough nothing that's too good for you. A good for stretches, honey, got a G. You kind of love it, make a fool of me. My head is spinning like a man insane. I quit my wig up at your putty in James. You go, huh. oh, wait a minute, honey, when you hold me tight, make me feel so. Sum it up, we're a, a, a bad attempt. Uh, late 50s, early 60s rockabilly. Um, well, the Caesars actually, uh, they started because, um, I can't remember how I ended up bumping into Dan. I think I had to look after him at the shakedown because he's only 11, you see. I found out that he played lead guitar and uh, we got chatting. We met up a few times, uh, which is obviously vocal and, and lead, and we wrote a couple of songs and that. I wrote The Shakedown, um, and he'd written Dance and Six Feet Under, and there was a few tracks that we sort of knew. Then we just had to start looking for uh, a, a, you know, a bass player and a drummer. I just bumped into AJ at the, uh, at the Rock Boo Rave. And then AJ suggested that we bring Steve in and then we sort of pulled Mikey in to play along for a while with us. I'm a madman. One, two, one, two, three. Dan comes down and like, oh, I can't find a drummer. So I said, I'll do it. But basically he said no, because I'm from Cornwall. Eventually we stumbled across uh, Mike, who probably could not live further away from us. where I replace Mike uh, as his position in the band. The first rehearsal that we all had with that lineup just really clicked. From there on, we just all kind of got on. Basically, right, our dear friend here, Steve, um, we all try and get our hair you know, nice and messy, and Steve, he just can't do it, man. Ever since he was a kid. It's just it won't let me do it. So show us some messy. But, but, but I mean, like, you know, we go like this, and it, yeah. but poor old Steve here, though, I mean, look at this, man. It's a good oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not even Jesus could do that. He you know. 
Yeah, Jesus, what was that? Jesus had a clue. Jesus had a clue. A bit haphazard, but no, it's, uh, it came together. It came together all right in the end. The, the Caesars um, got signed to World Records. We've been approached by High Rockabilly, and then the day after. Uh, Wild Records got in contact with us. They picked us up off the internet. We're going out to LA. We're, uh, we're flying out to um, record our uh, album in April. Based in Los Angeles, California. Probably considered to be one of the best modern rockabilly recording labels uh, in the world. I think they just have a, a brilliant way of doing rockabilly. Like they don't, they're, they're not hung up on authenticity, but they're not um, in any way losing their roots or anything like that. The wealth of stuff that is on that label that is good and well written. Uh, a long while back, I heard the Chewing the Bobcat CD, and amazingly, I actually said to Dan, This is exactly what the Caesars should sound like. <laughs> I think it's about time we gave a little hand for our musicians. It's Danny O. He's still single, ladies. Even I've tried it. Oh, apart from Bren. Bren's taken him. All right. Steve Nelly the Sausage Monster Nelly. Thank you, big potato. And it's our little, our little resident Mikey from Cornwall. Mikey! Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Nowadays happening, we're all just, just gobsmacked really. For us, it's, it's amazing. It's a really amazing opportunity for us. The just about having a good time. Throw ourselves about. Jump around on stage mainly and have a good time. ruin all of your ears with uh, with our terrible music. Fantastic. Thank you. Absolutely super. My name's AJ, I come from England, uh, in Bristol, and... Uh, oh... <laughs> <laughs> I come from Bristol, which is in England, and I'm... <laughs> uh, my name's AJ, <laughs> Everyone finish sighing yeah. and laughing, and if you laugh once more, I'm going to wrap a guitar around your head. Dan, I'm going to kill you. I'm, I'm over tired. And uh, I'm the lead... <laughs> I can't be no, right if you got him giggling away. Can I finish now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>